In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the treasure grab slider from one of Halton Hill's Public Library's grab and go kits. In your kit, you will find one piece of cardstock, there will be a straw, some string, some paper clips, and a magnet. And from home, you will need to find some scissors and some tape. So the first step is to take your straw and you're going to cut two pieces of straw out of this. So you want each piece to be about one to two inches long. So I'm going to cut off one piece of straw and cut a second piece of straw here. So you'll have a little bit of straw left over and you won't need that anymore. So now we're going to take our two pieces of straw and we're going to tape the straw pieces to the index card here in the center. And we want our pieces of straw to be at the front edge of the card and we are going to have it slightly slanted in towards the center. And now a tip here is to try to make sure the tape wraps around the straw as much as possible as you tape it down to your card here. And now I'm going to tape down the second piece, piece of straw. And now we're going to flip our, end, our card over and take our magnet. And on the other side of the magnet is a piece of white paper. This is protecting the sticky side of the magnet. So we're going to peel that off and we are going to put the sticky side down onto the in, our cardstock here. And we're going to place it somewhere in the middle uh, wherever you want, but I'm going to place it um, just below the half of my paper here. So I'm going to press that down so it's nice and firm. And now we can flip it back over so these straws are facing up. And the next step is to take our string and you're going to loop the string around a table or a chair leg. So I've done that earlier here and I'm going to take my string and you can see you want your string to be about an inch or two apart. That's how this works best. So we have our string here and you're going to take one end of your string and slide it through the one straw. And we're going to take the other end of the string and slide it through the second straw. And you want to be careful to make sure that you don't get the strings crossed while you're doing that. So now pull all the extra string out. Here, so now you can see we've got the string pulled through the straws on our cardstock here. So now our slider is complete and we can move the slider by pulling one string and then the other. So we're going to pull it, the string tight and lift it up. And now you can see by pulling one string and then the other, you can move the slider all the way up. And then you just pull the slider back once you get to the end there. Or you can punch a hole in the card here and attach another bit of string so that you can just pull it back by the string as well. You can practice moving your slider and the slider moves because of a lot of friction which is a force that resists motion. So once you're good at moving your slider you're on you're ready for the next challenge. So take the paper clips from the kit and scatter them across the floor or the table and now you can move your slider and once you get over the paper clips you can just uh, release your tension on the string to lower the slider down and see if you can pick up any paper clips. And you can practice this as much as you want and try to set yourself some challenges. So how many paper clips can you pick up at once? See here I got three paper clips there. My record is five. So how many paper clips can you pick up at one time? Or you could set yourself a time limit and see how many paper clips you can pick up in one minute. Can you get all 10 picked up in one minute? And try to think of anything else that you have in your house that you could um, possibly use for this. So what other treasure do you have around that could be picked up by a magnet and your slider? And see if you can pick up other things just 
besides just paper clips. Thank you for joining me today to make the treasure grab slider. I hope you have fun.